What's up everybody? As promised, I'm gonna do a pedal rundown in my ghetto studio setup. Woo! All right, so in Guitar Rig, what I did was I took what I recorded and I duplicated it. So I used two different amps. I'm using the AC box, which is aka as an AC30, and I hard pan that to the, the left. And then I'm using, what is it? I think it's like the Tweed Man. I don't know, let me check. I was gonna show you what I was doing with the amps, but then Logic's like, you need all these sounds that probably aren't that necessary. Oh my gosh, we're getting somewhere. Okay, cool, 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 let's do this. Tweed, to, oh, okay. Yep, yeah, this is it, the, the Tweed Delight. I don't really know what this is, but it's one of those amps, you know, where there's basically a volume. And those are kind of good sometimes, cause you know, EQ, who needs it? Ha 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 ha. All the engineers out there are probably hating me right now. But yeah, it, this one's more distorted than the other one. Um, I think it's cool for texture and it makes it sound a lot wider. So in terms of pedal stuff, it's all the same stuff you've seen on my board if you've watched any of my other videos or if you hate it on my world's greatest pedal board video because you're just like, it's a cult leading board, one of you said. I don't really know what that means because you don't know Jesus and I'm praying for you and I'll love you. So anyway, on this board setup, I'm using the RJM to switch everything. I'm using the Michael Pope delay setting. Um, a guy I know got that for me and it was rad. It's a really loud dotted eighth out of the timeline. I didn't really like his reverb setting. It was the Magneto and I thought it sounded weird, but what do I know? I don't play for Bethel, you know, so. Yeah, but I'm using basically a really short room and then a longer hall, well, long, like a medium-sized hall. Um, I'm gonna give you the rundown of everything part by part. Um, and if you're trying to learn this song, maybe you can figure it out from this video, maybe you can't, I don't know, but I believe in you and I love you. So for the hook, I'm stacking the moonshine and the full drive and the timeline and the reverb and I'm also using a vibe setting. I'm pretty sure they don't use that, but it sounds kind of wonky and I like it. Um, so it's, it's very tight, but it kind of uh, moves the pitch in and out. So that's the hook. <laughs> I'm using an auto swell patch. It is the perfect storm preset on the Mobius to swell in. It's the same delay and the reverb. It's a, it's a brighter, longer reverb. It's a plate, you know, my usual swell sound. Woo! The verses, I'm using the full drive, the delay and the reverb. The delay and the reverb never come off, so I'm gonna stop saying that. I mean, if you played in worship guitar, you know, just turn as many Strymons on as you can and that's pretty much how it works. Bridge is the same thing, I'm just using a, a longer reverb. Here's the chorus, it is just the moonshine with a little bit longer reverb to fill up a little space. And that is Lion and the Lamb, it is my, probably, probably my favorite worship song. It's very spiritually deep and super fun to play on the guitar. I know it's older, but you know, I wanted to do a song that I love to kick off this year. So yeah, until next time, bye-bye.